the squat, I'm gonna set myself up on one foot. Now for those of you who are just starting out and beginning, you can take your other foot out to front as a support. So what we're looking for here is tight core, tight bum. You're gonna get bored of me saying that, you know I like working the bum and the core. Reason why is it makes you stronger. So as you come down, we're gonna put a weight through the heel, chest is gonna stay high, core on, slowly down, slowly up. Now at the top of the movement, I'm gonna open my hip using my bum. Now as I get more confident, I can take that leg up and really stabilize through my working leg now. So as I come down, I'm gonna come down to start with with a small range of motion. As I get more comfortable, I'm gonna to start to drop a little bit lower so I can get a good full range of motion. Now you see I'm having to balance, I'm having to use my stabilizing muscles as I come up and down, and at the top of the movement, I'm really focusing on opening up the hip, okay? Now, from there we're gonna to go to our lunge. So again, another leg exercise. Make sure again we've got our suspension point at the longest, so we're getting good range of motion. Now here, Again, I want my weight coming through my heel, chest is going to be high, core and glutes are on. I'm going to let my leg kick back and just leave it hovering off the floor. My chest is high still. My knee's coming out over my second and third toe. And as I drive up, I'm pulling the knee up nice and high. Again, having to use all my stabilizing muscles to keep myself in position. Now remember, we're just using these as balance, we're not strangling them. So you're going to need to work to keep your balance while you're doing it. And again, smooth, controlled movement. Open the hips at the top, really use that glute. Right, I'll press. All of you have done the plank exercise now in your programming. What I want you to imagine here is you're just gonna be a moving plank. So the further away I have my legs, the harder it'll be. The closer in they are, the easier it's gonna be. So if I take them further back, I'm gonna activate the core again, squeeze my bum, Neck and spine in line, I'm slowly going to come down, push away. Again, the movement's controlled. Keeping my shoulders relaxed. Smooth, smooth movement. Now as I get more comfortable, I can take my legs further back. If it gets too much, I'll bring them closer forward. If I'm feeling very strong and as you get more stable, you'll be able to come to one leg. And again, do the same movement. You're just going to have to work harder here to stabilise yourself and keep good alignment. Right, remember guys, some of you will be doing this based on time, some of you will be doing it based on repetitions. So whatever your program says, some of you may be doing sets of 10, sets of 12, others may be doing it for 30 seconds or a minute. Your program will let you know what you're doing. Now when we're working the back, we're gonna shorten the straps. So I wanna make sure now our straps are at the shortest point, Now here, again, I'm like a moving plank. My core's tight, my glutes are fired up and switched on. The further forward I come, the harder it's gonna be. The further back I come, the easier it's gonna be. So I'm gonna set myself up in a comfortable position to start, pull back and down with my shoulder blades, and now I'm gonna squeeze. So I'm squeezing with the muscles in between my shoulder blades and the big muscles of my back. Nice and relaxed with the arms, big squeeze. I'm looking straight up at my anchor point, when I get comfortable and confident, I can come further forward or I can come up onto one leg. Once I'm on one leg, same movement. Control with good alignment. 